My name is Shira. I am a psychic medium, pet communicator, author, and keynote speaker. I know that a lot of you have been in the house with the coronavirus, and I wanted to offer you today a vibrating day with 11 vibrating techniques to do over the next 11 days. So let's start with a new beginning. Day one is a new beginning. You're going to start today. You're not going to look back. You're not going to think, what did I do? What didn't I do? You're just going to start with today. So think about a situation that you would like to be better. For a lot of people, that might be financial right now. So think about your financial situation and ask yourself on a scale of one to 10, where am I with the situation? At a 10 vibration, my life is fabulous. I'm a multimillionaire. And a one vibration, you're thinking to yourself, what am I going to do next? How am I going to bring in the next dollar? That's day one. So just write down or think about where you are in your vibration. The one to 10 is considered a vibration. So some of you may be at the 10 vibration. Everything's great. Some of you may be at a five vibration. Oh, I'm good. I feel really good. I'm good. Some of you may be between a one and a four, which is you're trying to figure out what the next step is going to be. So now let's move into day two. Day two is all about raising your vibe. I collect angels or angel figurines. What do you collect? I say to myself, for every angel I see in my home, I have an extra hundred dollars. And then I start to count them. 100, one angel, 100, two angels, 200, three angels, 400. I'm really getting ahead of myself. Do you do that sometimes? You just get ahead of yourself? So it's time for us to slow down a little bit. And for me, I say, for every angel I see, I have an extra hundred dollars. So it's one angel, 100, two angels, 200, three angels, 300, and so on and so forth. I have 30 angels in my house, so by the time I'm done in the living room, I've already counted $3,000. Now think of an object that you have in your house that you have a lot of and that you enjoy. And say to yourself, or out loud, every time I see one of these items, I have an extra hundred dollars. Now you're aligning yourself with having money and feeling good about having money versus trying to figure out how to get to the next place. That's day two. That was easy. Now we go on to day three. Day three is all about being inspired. So if you would like, you could put a penny or any coin that you would like to put into a bowl or a jar. And when you look at this penny or you look at this coin, you're going to say to yourself, putting this penny in the jar was very easy and being inspired is just as easy as putting this coin into this bowl or jar. That's day three. You're done. So easy. It's supposed to be easy. If it's difficult, don't do it. Not worth it. Now we're moving on to day five. And again, did you see how I got ahead of myself? Are you still doing that? We go on to day four. You caught me. Day four is all about asking for what you want. Are you asking for what you want? Or are you hoping against all hopes that you will make it through whatever your situation is and come out at a better side? Today, start to ask for what you want. Ask for what you want based on what would make your life easier. Do not base what you want on what you don't have. For example, I have a Chevrolet, but I'd like a BMW. Instead, just ask for the BMW. So much easier. If you'd like to have a new couch or a new sofa, ask for the new sofa 
instead of replacing the old one. Sometimes you don't get what you want because you didn't ask. Start to ask. Some of you have things in your life that you may feel are difficult right now. And write all those things down. And then on the right side of that, or in another column, write down what would make your life easier. And ask for those things. Be willing to let go of the things in your first column to make your second column available. This is called allowing. Letting go of what doesn't work allows you to let in what does work. This is called raising your vibe. Now we move on to day five, which is allowing. Did you feel your whole body just relax? It may have. Because your body knows how to relax. You may not know how to, but your body does. So you may go from being like this to being, oh, this feels good. Allowing is supposed to feel good. If it doesn't feel good, you're not allowing. And if it's not easy, you're between a one and a four. At a five vibration, things get easier. It's supposed to be easy. Now think about what you're doing now that does not allow everything to be easy. And let that go so that you can allow. Now we move into day six, which is really a fun day. Day six is all about using your new allowing muscles. Did you know that you use the same inner mouth muscles to smile as you do to complain? So today, smile as big as you can. Smile as big as you can. I should have done that first before I tried smiling. So today, smile as big as you can and then try to complain. You can't do it. It's impossible. Tell yourself that you're going to laugh in tomorrow. You're not going to laugh today. You're going to hear something really funny, but you're not going to laugh now. You're going to laugh tomorrow. Some of you wait so that you can enjoy. Don't wait it. Don't wait. That's like laughing in tomorrow. Don't do that to yourself. Now you're learning the art of allowing. The art of allowing raises your vibe. Also, know that when things are easy, there's no reason to complain. When I first bought my BMW, my friends told me that I was no longer allowed to complain. I said, what do you mean I'm not allowed to complain? They said, you are not allowed to complain. I said, why? They said, because you're driving a BMW. Had I known that, I would have complained for at least three weeks before I got her, my BMW. Sometimes when you give up what you're used to doing, letting go is not so easy, but certainly well worth it and well worthwhile. Now we move into day seven. On day seven, we rest. We just kick back and we rest. And we look back and we say to ourselves, it is good. Give yourself and your body a day just to rest. Pick one day a week. Say, I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to rest. Now we move into day eight. Day eight is all about letting go of resistance. If you don't know how to let go of resistance, you can look on YouTube for the Sedona method. And I'll include that link below, as well as the subscribe button. Don't forget to subscribe, because that's really important too. Or if you're on Facebook, you can hit the like button. We appreciate that as well. Going back to day eight. People don't realize that you have to let go of things in order to get new things. So you say to yourself, oh, I'm letting go. Why aren't I getting this? Because you can't let go until you realize you're holding on. You cannot let go of something that you do not, are not holding on to first. Try it. I'm going to let go. I'm going to let go. I'm going to let go. You can't do it. Until you honor what you're holding on to. What you don't know is 
when you're holding on to something, you can't embrace the next moment. So say yes and your hands naturally open. Say no and your hands close. Say yes, your hands open. Say no, no, your hands close. When you say yes, you say, okay, universe, spirit, or God, I'm ready to receive. When you say no, you're saying, no, I don't want that. And when you hold on, you're trying to figure out what to do so you could let go. Instead, say to yourself, I'm going to embrace one thing that might help you with letting go is this little saying. Say to yourself very out loud, I will not be angry or I will no longer be angry at what people did to me or what they have done to me. I will forgive them for what they could not have done for me. Now you're on the other side of that. Isn't that much better? Some people stay in the past. Now we're moving on to day nine. That was day eight. Now we're moving on to day nine. Day nine is about not staying in the past. Write the word past on a piece of paper. Put it on the floor. Every time that you want to talk about the past, go and stand on that piece of paper. Don't waste your time standing in the past. You're not going to get anything accomplished. I promise you. And that's day nine. So now you ask yourself, what is it about the past that you can't let go? And then you can go back to day eight if you would like. Or you can go stand on the past. If you would like, now would be a good time to do a vision board. A vision board consists of pictures of things that you would like to bring into your life. And as you bring them into your life, your life's going to get better. The key for you is not to look at what you want, but to put a picture of yourself in or on that vision board, because that's going to become what you bring into your life. Many people think that you have a goal and you reach that goal. This isn't about reaching a goal. This is about what you're going to bring into your life. Some of you are running down the football field and you're saying to yourself, okay, spirit, I'm almost at the touchline. Throw me the ball because I'm going to make that touchdown. But I can't make the touchdown without that ball. You're not running down a field. You're sitting and inviting in and allowing. So we're coming from having a situation where we have a problem, a solution, a problem, a solution. I know that you're all smart. I know you're all spiritual. All we're doing is raising the emotional up to that point. So when you have a problem, you think, what am I going to do? You think mentally, what am I going to do? You think spiritually, give me an answer. When you're eating your favorite food, ugh, when you're eating your favorite food or ice cream, you don't think about a solution and a problem or a problem and a solution. You just enjoy. So the more you enjoy, the more you allow in. Now you're sailing. Did you feel the difference? Now we can move on to day 10. Didn't it go fast? Day 10 is about choices. You can't have choices and respond while you're reacting. And you can't react unless there's something to react to. So if there's a situation that you're in that you don't like, you're always reacting to it. Now make a different choice. You can make it hashtag or tic-tac-toe board or the pound sign and picture a check in every one of those squares. That's your life. If you're always reacting to something that you don't like, you're not going to be able to allow in in a nice way. 
Now think of another tic-tac-toe board. Or think of another hashtag. And just put one check in that square. In the other squares, put all the other things you'd like to have into your life. And put your energy into that. Put your time and your energy into that. And just say, I'd like more of that, please. One day I said, wouldn't it be nice if somebody gave me $10,000? And three weeks later, I got a letter saying that there was an account for me with $13,338.98 for me. I didn't even know it existed. When we're concentrating or focused on what we don't want, we can't ask for and allow in what we do want. So today, look at what you would like to have and start asking for it. Not from other people, but from the universe or God or spirit, whomever you believe in. Much easier. I also want to um, share this with you, which will make it easier for you to respond versus react. People who get what they need say thank you. People who don't get what they need point out what's wrong. Today, when you get angry, ask yourself, what did you need that you did not ask for? That's another way of using your allowing muscles. And the last one is day 11. Day 11 is you can't stand in the past and you can't stand in the future while being in today. Don't look back or be in the past with regrets. Forgive those who could not do for you. Don't live in the future. Enjoy today and ask for more so that your next today will be wonderful. I hope you enjoyed these 11 techniques and I'll hope that you'll use them as well in the following 11 days. And picture where you want to be in the next 90 days do a vision board and use these techniques if you would like to, to help yourself to get there. Thank you so much for watching and we'll look forward to talking with you again. And in the next few days, I'm going to post another video for businesses, for the 11 day technique for businesses. Thank you again.